This video is about blocking up windows, and since you can't see where the windows were, I think I did a pretty good job. I put my final coat of plaster on, and uh, I'm going to show you how I blocked up the windows. Now, today's job, the only thing we're going to do is block up three windows, and the reason is because they, they got to pour concrete up to here. All the concrete was tipped towards the windows, and the water was going in the cellar. So we're just going to block up the windows, uh, fix up the outside a little bit. Uh, we're not doing anything fancy. This is the window opening, and I just laid it out dry just to see how it would work. So the first thing I want to do is get the sprayer and just spray it. So like I said, if you want cement to stick to something, yeah, you got to wet it first. And this is just water. So we're not going to get fancy. Let's just start out right here with a brick. If you want cement to stick to something, you go like that, and it sticks, you see? So we're just going to get our brick, place it right in there like that, nothing fancy. And I'm going to go over here, I'm going to put our cap in, like that. Our next cap in. The owner here is watching me because uh, he wants to make sure he's paying me seven dollars an hour to seven and a quarter. Seven and a quarter. I got to raise. I put this one in here, just like that. And I'm just gonna go like this to make sure I'm even with the building. And then I'm going to let this sit and go to the next window because I want this to dry and then when I put my top on it will be a little set. Now on this window I'm a little short. I like to use caps instead of blocks because the blocks have holes in it. You can't really seal it that good. Caps you can put, uh, you can seal it good and also uh, you can always put another wall behind it. I don't like to leave empty spaces. But if you got a short cap you can either do this, which is my favorite way. Some guys use this part. But then uh, it leaves an up. Use the tip of the hammer like this. You cut steeper. Cut straight down. That'll, that'll make it fit. See? Close enough. You know, is that okay with the owner? I'm the owner. It's okay. Okay. I always check with the owner. Uh, 750 would be better. Well, we're back at the window a little while later. And we're going to lay the other cap on top. Like I said, I like to keep use caps when I'm blocking up a window. I don't want any voids because you leave a void and there's a little hole, you get a bee or you get a termites or anything. What I do is a critter, critters. I go like this, just like that for the top piece. And you know, some of these videos are what I call mundane, not a big deal, but sometimes one little, one little trick might help somebody, and that's a good thing. Go right there like that. And we put our next one in. Plaster the top. That. that way when I have to go and point it up, there's something there to stick to. Oh, I got to do this. Then I got to get inside later. Can I show the camera what I'm doing? That's good there. And our brick in here, like that. Perfect. Now that we're done, we get our trawl, and then we kind of scooch it up in there. Like Make sure it's all real good and solid up there. Now get yourself a rubber glove if you're not good at that, and just shove it in like that. Because this is all going to be plastered anyway. Get it up there in the thing, like that. Nice tight seal. Yep. 
you just get yourself a sponge and a bucket of water and do this because I got to plaster it over it anyway. Take your sponge, do that, whatever you got to do. And you got to go inside and patch it up. Okay, we got to uh, kind of plaster that out of here. I do that, I win every time. Then I made my Portland paint just like I did on my videos that are, uh, you know, how to patch up a foundation. I paint it. I paint it with pure Portland cement. It's like a bonding agent. I know that's going to stick now. Over everything I paint it. wet, we start throwing the plaster in, right here, alright, I paint everything with Portland, it can't go wrong, as long as it's wet, just like that, it makes it stick like glue, go right over the top of it, just like that. It's ugly, but I tell you what, we gotta do it again. The reason I'm doing it now, putting the coat on now, is because uh, what's gonna happen is it'll show all those marks. I don't want to show that. So I'm gonna figure a second coat in a couple days because I got some other jobs to go to. I can afford to wait. And then uh, I just scratch it with a bone for my next coat. Back here the next day, we're going to put another coat over it, and you can see where it dried quick, where it was thin, and where it's still wet here. That would always show. That's one of the reasons we always put a second coat on. So now we're just putting our second coat on. We wet it good first. Put our second coat on right now just to hide. Uh, all those lines and all our sins, I always call them uh, uh, the sins because these are is an old stone foundation and uh, they to hide everything. And this, okay, when we're done we just uh, over it with the sponge. It's an irregular, uh, it's an irregular footing. So we're not too worried about it. Most of it's going to get covered. Oh. How am I doing, boss? Oh, my. I talked to the CEO. Good. He had to twist his arm, but he wants to put you on half day, six days a week, 12 hours a day. Half days, 12 hours a day. And you get Sundays off with no pay. I'll take it. Deal. <laughs>